The scripture texts that would be the basis of our reflection today are taken from 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, and it says, By His divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know Him, the one who called us to Himself by means of His marvelous glory and excellence. The other text is taken from 2 Timothy chapter 1 verses 6 to 7 that says, For this reason I remind you to find into flame the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God gave us a spirit not of fear but of power and love and self-control. Greetings of peace from the city of gentle people, Dumagari City. I am delighted to be part of Philomer's celebration of the Christian Emphasis Week for this semester. And as usual, my heart is filled with joy. The reason why I am thanking Philomer for giving me this opportunity to be part of your celebration. Our theme for this semester CW is Fear not, have faith. I would like to st start this reflection by sharing you the story of a mother 
who lived a severely poor life despite her riches. According sa sining nga istorya, ang nanay halin sa pagkabunag sang iya nga anak. So that means sang ini nga nanay single mother siya. Uh, despite sang ila unfortunate nga kahimtang sa kabuhi, pigado sila. She did her best para mapaeskwela ang iya anak. Visionary ang ini nga nanay because she wanted that her daughter, her only daughter would experience uh, a very good life uh, sometime later sa iya nga pagpangabuki. So to make the long story short, ang nanay naging successful ginakapag-graduate sa iya anak. And on that day, ang iya anak was about to leave her sa ila daan nga balay kay na-hire siya sa isa ka company nga maghatag sa iya anak sa ma- manami nga sweldo, dako nga sweldo. And uh, when she was left there, ang kamaturan nga ang anak wala naka nagkalipat sa pagpanumdum sa iya Eloy. Every month, ang ini nga anak magpadala sa good amount of money para nga i-supply sa kinanglanon sa iya ng Eloy. Uh, I'm not so sure if how many sa inyo ang familiar sa daan nga pamaagi magpadala sa kwarta sa una. Unlike subong, uh, may GCash na kita unlike subong may palawan pawn shop na no, pwede ninyo i-transferan sa kwarta. Sa una, kung nagkatrabaho ikaw sa Manila, kag magpadala ikaw sa kwarta sa Kapiz, uh, the only means of doing that is through postal order. That means, ang magpadala sa kwarta, makadto sa post office, and then ihatag niya ang iya kwarta, and the post office will have to send that check. No? Muna, muna ginatawag na postal order. So, ipadala ina sa beneficiary sa uh, ginpadalaan sa kwarta. So, sa, sa sininga storya, ang ininga bata every month would send her mother good amount of money. Pero kay ang iya iloy, uh, kulang sa kinaalam, ang huna-huna sa sininga iloy, ang ginapadala sa iya anak, pariho lamang sa isa ka postcard na wala sa cash value. So, ang iya ginahimo sa iloy, every time kayang ilabalay, uh, made of nipa no and uh, kawayan so every time nga mag-ulan ang ato nga postal order amo to ang ginahulip niya sa mga buslot sa nipa sa ila dingding sa ila atop so that hindi masudlan sang tubig ila balay so social ang nanay kay ang ginahulip sa iya nga mga sa, sa atop ka sa dingding dako ang cash value and uh, it came to a point sa iya nga kabuhi nga nagmasakit ang ini nga nanay and uh, unfortunate unfortunate circumstance happened ang ini nga nanay napatay so the daughter uh, decided to go back home sang iya pag-abot dito sa ila balay na surprise gid ang ini nga anak sa pagkakita ang ang ila balay hayub-hayub gihapon despite nga kadako sang kwarta nga ginapadala sa iya no? so wala ma improve ang condition of life sa iyang nanay because ang nanay wala kahibalo sa content sa ginapadala sa niya sa iyang nanay. And uh, mas na surprise ang ining anak sa nakita niya nga ang mga checking nga iya ginpadala halin pa sa una, dito niya makita sa dingding na ginahulip sa mga buslot sa nipa nga dingding kag nipa nga to. So, kung ato lang tawon, ang ining nanay could have lived a well-provided life had she grasped what were given to her by her daughter. Ang ining nanay could tani na elevate ang iya pangabuhi gikan sa kapigaduhon. But because she was ignorant of what had been coming to her, wala siya kahibalo. And she was not able to use that appropriately to her advantage.
moving on to our topic, I would say that this pandemic has rearranged our lives in so many ways. Like before, we used to experience in-campus face-to-face classes. Unfortunately, with the coming of this pandemic, we have turned this in-campus face-to-face classes into virtual online classes. Another example is before nag-enjoy kita sa paghimo sa mga bagay that we love doing. However, after we have lived a life of confinement, having experienced the different levels of community quarantine, so the part of our experience had brought us that anxious feelings. Iwala kita na anad sa una nga bukuton kita sa aton balay. We would love spending times outside together with our uh, friends and other people significant to us. But with the coming of this pandemic, na contain kita sa aton balay and virtually nagiging preso kita sa aton mga panimalay. So these changes in our lives resulted to the reorientation of our normal life. No, and this reorientation cost us some burdens in our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual aspects of our lives. This COVID-19 pandemic is threatening to eclipse our consciousness of God with fear, anxiety, and depression. However, our theme for this CW is telling us two important things. First, we should stop fearing. And secondly, we should have faith. So let us start with the first. Klaro ang reminder sa aton, sa aton nga tema, that we should fear not. Apostle Peter has given us a very good reason why we should not fear. He said in this text, God has given us everything we need to live a godly life. Again, emphasize na ko ang ginahambal na Peter that God has given us everything that we need to live a godly life. By godly life, we refer to the proclamation of Jesus Christ in John 10.10 10, when he said, I have come that people would have life and that they might have it abundantly. So, kung mag kita sa godly life, amuin na ang intention sa Diyos sa aton that all of us will experience the kind of life that He wanted us to have. No? And the kind of life na makita naton in nga plano sang ginoo sa aton no makita naton sa eksperyensya sang iya ministry sang mga ginpang ayon niya ang mga maskiton gin hatagad niya sang site ang mga bulag and when he feed the hungry so god wants us to live a more meaningful life instead of living a life of misery living a life full of fear God wants us to find meaning sa aton earthly na life. So why do we have to live a life of fear if we can live out the kind of life that God wants for us? So amoy na ang aton ng lantawon subong, how can we stop fearing? So right before us is the reality that Peter has been trying to tell us you have no reason to fear because God has given everything that you need to live the kind of life that you would experience meaning and satisfaction. So, makita natong diri mga kautoran ang idea that this pandemic is threatening all of us. This pandemic is trying to infuse to our beings the culture of the culture of fear but somehow let us understand that we have everything we have to combat that fear 
So one way to dismiss fear from our lives is to know what God has given us. So let's try to look at no, kung ano ini ang mga ginpanghatag sa ginoo sa aton. Ginhambal niya diri that we have everything that we need to live a godly life. So let us look at some few examples para mas maintindihan nato and we could somehow uh, gain courage no uh, facing sa mga uh, threats sa aton nga pagpangabuhi. In order for us to stop fearing, then we must have a clear understanding of what God had given us. Let us learn from Timothy when he said, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-discipline. Timothy made it clear that God actually eliminated, eliminated fear in our lives. So why do we continue fearing if God had not given us that kind of spirit? The answer is plain and simple. We sometimes give the control over our lives to fear. We let fear control the whole faculty of our being. However, the theme for this CW is timely because it reminds us not to fear. Fear not. That means we should reclaim the control over our lives and we should not allow fear to grip us into its hands. One way to do that is for us to understand what God gifted us and let it control all the regions of our lives. In order for us to fully utilize the full potential of God's gift, then we should have a full grasp of what is this gift all about. Hindi kita gusto nga magpangabuhi, kaangay sang kabuhi sang nanay, that despite giginatagan siya sang dako nga kamangaran, nagpangabuhi, gihapon siya sang pangabuhi nga pigado. Because she was not able to fully utilize sang ginhatag sa iya sang iya anak. So let us try to understand how rich God's gift of His Spirit to us. How it can help us from experiencing fear. So, ginmention dari kagina, ang importante nga tinaga, no? that God has given us the spirit not of fear. So, ang hatagan natun sa focus subong ining tinaga nga spirit. This is very important because this would give us a wide understanding of how rich this spirit is. Sa aton pagbasa sa uh, aton nga platukuran, posibli malabayan lang naton ini, hindi naton ma-pick up kung ano ka importante, ano ka manggaranon ang ini nga tinaga nga spirit. So let's spend some time understanding how rich the word spirit in our text is. Actually, kung lang tao ni mo from the story of the creation, ining tinaga nga spirit, importante ang papel nga iya gin uh, tungdan when God created everything on this planet. So, kung ato na intindihon, ang spirit could be translated no, from, uh, ang spirit, tinaga nga spirit uh, was actually translated from these two important words. First, the word logos, it's actually a Greek concept. No? Commonly, ang tinaga nga logos nagkakahulugan sa tinaga, words. No? Uh, ordinaryo nga tinaga. Okay? But we have to understand that in the creation story, God made use of the logos and He created everything out of chaos. So, sang gintuga, sang Diyos, sang kalibutan, He started by saying, Let there be light. God created the light out of nothing. Instead, ginagamit niya ang logos. This logos that refers to the spirit, amuni ang iyang creating power. God made everything because in His spirit, in His logos, there is creating power. 
So, on atun lang taon, everything came into being. Everything on, on this earth came into being because of the creating power of God. And the other word is the word, the Hebrew word, ruach. Ruach means the breath that God gave to the lifeless model he fashioned out of clay. No? Ano ang signifikan sang ruwak sa atong nga kabuhi? From the creation story, we understand that everything except sa tawo, God made out of His creating power from, from the Logos. But the most important part sa creation niya, amo ang tawo, was He created a model out of clay and Take note of this. The Ruach or the Spirit of the Lord when He breathed that on the nostril of the model, that Ruach made that model alive. So, anong but silingon sining Logos kag Spirit? This is what I would like to emphasize here, my dear brothers and sisters. As long as we live, God has gifted us first his breath of life. The breath no, that we breathe every day, it comes from Him. And as long as we are breathing the breath of life that came from, from God, we have with us the creating power of God. Plain and simple, my dear brothers and sisters, God has gifted us with His creating power. That means, by virtue of this creating power, we would be able to organize our lives. We would be able to run and organize our lives, no matter how chaotic our lives would be. We would be able to handle the fears, anxiety, and depressions that would come us because God has given us His creating power. We have now a clear understanding of how much God has gifted us. So we are being reminded that God has gifted us with the spirit of power, love, and discipline. Let us understand that fear has no longer dominion over us. Fear cannot defeat us as long as we lit the ruach or the breath of life that God had given us to dominate our lives. We may be confronted by the most threatening condition of life, but because we have the Logos or the creating power of God, then we have the confidence that we would be able to pull ourselves through. God's creating power is giving us the guidance on how are we going to manage our lives. So let us have faith in that. Let us try to exercise this kind of power that God has given us. We should manage our lives in confidence that God's creating power will help us live our lives creatively and meaningfully. Let us not fear. Though chaos would threaten us, let us try to exercise this gift that God has given us. Let us use our mental faculty and every part that God has given us because God has created us in His own image. And I would like to remind us that God, God's image, that means uh, everything that we have, God has given us. That includes our mental faculty and the cognitive functioning that we have. So let us exercise these things that God has given us in order for us to live victoriously over fear, anxiety, and depression. Friends, my dear brothers and sisters, we should continue living a life full of faith. And the best way for us to do that is by taking this advice of Timothy. He said, fan into flame the gift of God. So we should exercise God's creating power upon our lives by creatively leaving ourselves away from fear, anxiety, and depression. Every time we find ourselves confronted with fear, 
anxiety, and depression. We must do something to stop them. And let us learn the ways on how to stop them from coming into our lives. Let us not surrender our control over our lives to them. One significant manifestation of God's creating power was when a beautiful world was created out of chaos. So we have this faith that because we were created in God's image, then we bear with us that creating power of God. That means we have this confidence that when we are confronted with chaos, we would be able to organize ourselves and uh, make ourselves victorious over that chaos. So we too would be able to organize ourselves so we could live a life free of fear, anxiety, and depression during this time of pandemic. So it is important that we shield ourselves from the fang of fear, anxiety, and depression. Here are some tips on how to creatively manage yourself in this time of pandemic. We have to understand that our well-being uh, depends on how we keep our physical, emotional, mental, spiritual aspects of our lives intact. So let us take care of these areas uh, sa aton pagpangabuhi so that it would never be a gateway for depression, anxiety, and depression no? nga magsulod sa aton nga pagpangabuhi. So one way to take care of our physical aspect of life is for us to eat right food, adequate rest, physical activity. Ang online distance learning could be a very good avenue for us to stay late during nights, particularly no, sa aton mga kabataan who are into online gaming. I am not against, no, I am not totally against online gaming. It's just that you should have uh, regulated these things or else uh, possibly ini nga magdala sa inyo uh, sa pila ka physical weaknesses and that's what we do not want to happen to you or else your physical aspect no, could be the gateway to uh, uh, the gateway of fear uh, anxiety and depression to the core of your being also you have to take care of the emotional aspect of your life so whenever fear uh, threatens you, try to write that fear in a journal until it has lessened. Okay? Deal with that fear. Never allow that fear to have full control over your emotional aspect. Also, you should focus on what has been going well, not the other way around. No? Kung kaisa, once depressed kita, what we love recalling are the things that went not so well in the past. No? Ang aton mga failures, drakita nagadwell. But one way to take care of yourself is to focus on what has been working well, not the other way around. And whenever doubts would uh, try to entice you, doubts would try to uh, destroy the beauty of your life you should try to look things from the bright, brighter side considering your mental health you also have to do something productive no? so your mind will not lay idle learn to connect with others and learn some stress management techniques lastly you also have to deal with your spiritual aspect of your life things like listening to gospel music that would nurture your spirit that would lift up your spirit focus more on prayers and meditation so you would be re-establishing your connection with our supreme being and write short reflections uh, about the things that are actually meaningful to you in closing, my brothers and sisters, I will have to remind you, you have no reason to fear. Instead, 
develop your faith. God had given us the creating power we need to live our lives meaningfully. Shall we pray? Our creating God, you have given us so much in our lifetime. You have given us so much power. However, there are times when we lose sight of these giftings that you have given us that we start to live our life in fear we allow depression to bother us we would sometimes be anxious of what would come next but here today thank you O god that you have given us the understanding that you have given us so much to conquer to vanquish fear anxiety and depression and i pray O god that may these words that you have allowed these young people to experience today will find places in their hearts and minds so that they would victoriously come out of every situation when fear would threaten them. I pray this in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. search the world but it couldn't fill me man's empty praise and treasures that fade are never enough and you came along and put me back together and every desire is now satisfied here in your love. Oh, there's nothing better than you. There's nothing better than you, Lord. There's nothing. Nothing is better than you. Turn season. 
You're the. 